hi and welcome back to my channel display of color I'm Scarlett and I'm going to be showing you um, the mood ring solar color dust and I did this on a live so if you want to see it step by step um, without any fast forwarding or anything you can check out that um, I did a mask so I can link that um, video in the description box below if you'd like but this will be fast forwarded um, just to save on time so what I am showing you right now is the solar color dust it's a liquid crystal sprayable and you have to shake it really really well and then you put it in an air brush gun and you blow it on in layers and you want to do it in light layers and every single layer dry in between and this one specific one is a low PSI which means you know there is no need for dilution like you just put it straight from the bottle after you shake it vigorously really well um, into your airbrush gun and immediately be able to work with it um, it does specify between seven to ten layers so I have this stencil of butterflies and I will be doing um, seven to ten layers on each which I wanted to do the max of course um, for each stencil so this is the first layer stencil and then there's a second layer on top that I do which um, gives detail of the inside and I actually wasn't sure if it would show up I was like let's see and so I just tried it to see and it did so it was almost like a ghosting effect it was really neat so um, I had to do both stencil sets seven to ten times each so the the of course the more layers the better um the mood read effect is and even on the very first one you'll see like um it it showed especially in my naked eye really really lightly as i was drying it because of the temperature change like you could see i don't have my heat going on very very hot at all obviously um but it is warm so when it does warm up um you know it does change um, but I want to say even by the second one it was definitely more visible but by the third layer it was very obvious when you would dry it with the heat it would change it so um, when it's a hundred percent cold um, and dried it 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 is black on black it, you could still tell and you'll see later on towards the end of the video of me showing um, it cured after the resin's cured and for a few days it, it you'll see like the original start of it being cold where it's like a black on black tone which is really neat you can still see it it's just you can tell it's like black on black and then um, it goes from like browns all the way from browns to like bright vibrant purple like blue purple um, the warmer it gets and stuff. So there's ranges of pinks, greens, oranges, um, like a yellow, and it does like in every shade in between that, like teals and kind of ruddy and a burnt orange and stuff. And the neat thing about this as well is the with the color shift, it, um, you know, how you tilt your piece is what changes the color. Um, this is a mood thing so you can with your breath or with touch or just the temperature ambient temperature of the room changing whether it's a heater being turned on and making your home warmer or the sun um or you know the going to evening and it naturally getting cooler in your house like this will constantly be shifting and color changing on its own without having to be touching it or anything um, even with the resin so it's really it's amazing this stuff is really 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 cool and you do have to seal it with resin it specifies that or um, it did on think on their website suggest something else some other kind of seal but mainly basically resin um, at w once you completely it's dried you know every layer in between but th the finish you know is completely dry and um, then you just seal it with resin. You don't need to spray seal it with something and then the resin you just literally just go from having it 100% dry to putting resin on top of it. And I'll show you that as well in this. 
but it does color shift depending on how the angle you look at it and moving, even though it's a mood ring thing, it still shifts the color. It's, it's quite a trip. It's very interesting. So it's like the best of both worlds. Not only do you get a color shift, um, with this, but you also get like the mood temperatures of the touching it or the light cascading. Um, there were, uh, two other channels that I know of that also did this. And one in particular really shows, she did a marvelous job doing a, a time lapse of how the sun, you know, um, uh, shifting throughout the day, showing how much it shifts. She did like a dot art piece and it's really cool. So I will link that, um, video in my description box below. And her channel is called Artsy Mad Woman. So it's, uh, it's great. I'll definitely link that one down below. And same with the other one. It's lapsing at the moment, but, um, they did toilet, toilet seats, a couple guy, girl, um, artist, resin artist couple. Um, and that was fun to watch as well. Um, the only thing is this stuff is really, really expensive and you just get a really small amount. Um, so it takes a lot of product, obviously with several layers. So I did go just doing this piece alone. I went through, um, and I didn't do all full 10 layers at seven, 10 layers the whole way because I was really nervous about running out and I had a live to do the next day with, with it. And I was concerned I'd run out. So, um, but it was, it was, those are one fluid ounce bottles. I had two of them and it took one full fluid ounce bottle and, um, about a, a, a good 25% portion of the rest of the bottle of the next one. And that was me not utilizing all, I would have normally done 10 layers each if I had enough of the stuff, because obviously I would have wanted the max, but, um, so I started out that way and then I got started getting really nervous, <laughs> but I do place my stencil on there and I tape it down and then I put it around, uh, just white paper around all of it just to cover to make sure that no, just in case any wind or gust or whatever, just spray airflow of, from my brush went on any other part of the piece. And, um, you do have to have black behind it. If you don't have black on whatever you're spraying, then it will not show up. Um, so I will be doing a white background and I will show you how I will do that, how you can get away with still having, if you wanted a white background or any other color background, um, besides just black, but you will have to put black underneath whatever it is that you want the mood ring effect to take to really, really stand out. So just be mindful of that as well. So I do spray just, you know, the light coat and then I dry and then the light coat and I dry and it's just repetitive of that. And then I, once it's hundred percent dry, I cover and protect, um, what I've already done as well as the rest of the board that I haven't done with, like I said, the white, uh, paper, and then I, um, tape all securely around it to make sure that it's protected. And so I start on one corner and I worked my way towards the middle and then I went to the other corner and worked my way towards the middle. And then I did finished by doing the center, um, just to make sure it was balanced correctly and my flow was right. And you do kind of have to guess because you do have excess around of the stencil itself. So you have to kind of judge and guess. And I didn't want to like accidentally rub on it or scratch or too much mess with it because I didn't want to, you know, rub off or scratch off or anything. So you have to be mindful of your placement of the stencil too, that it doesn't rub on what you previously had done. So it was kind of a long, you know, guesstimating process. And then um, I also had my lovely shop girl, AKA the Mrs. I help help me um, with the placement and then taping the back with my orange tape that I love to use when I resin so that way I could um, immediately go into resining after. And that's what was nice about this too is that I didn't have to do any other prepping other than making sure it was fully completely dry. 
And by that, I mean to just letting it cool off even to where it went to that black, you know, black on black. So that way I knew it was 100% dry, but also at a normal cool temperature. So that way when I went to do the resin, I could see the difference by knowing it was dry. And I could immediately go into resin. I didn't have to wait like a day or this or that to let it like, you know, like cure up or dry or any of this stuff. It, I could immediately just dry it and move on. But again, I have my heat tool set to a, like a tempid to warm, um, temperature. You know, I don't want it hot or anything drying this. I just want it to dry. This is so cool too, just to watch it like change as I'm drying it, you know. <laughs> oh, this stuff was so fun. I cannot, I cannot. It's just like mind-blowingly fun. Like it's, you just want to put on everything <laughs> once you have it. So, I mean, you can, and you can, you can put it on tumblers. Um, you can, I don't know, coat something that you have that's plastic or you can put on a vase, you know, um, as long as you can, you know, cover it, uh, seal it with resin or whatever, you're good to go. Um, but it's really neat. I mean, this guy's limited. I have a lot of fun things coming up that I want to do with this as well. Other project pieces with this. So, um, has, this is just, it's so cool. I, just, I can't say enough how cool it is. And I just, I mean, touching it, breathing on it, and changing it. It was just like, oh, I couldn't stop. <laughs> it was so neat. And then this is just showing um, it completely done in a bigger panel. Like, once I was dried right before, um, you know, it shows the tape, of course. And then us just showing panning back of like it fully dried and done and it changing just how many color from it cooling just watching that is just so neat and then we go into resin as you can see the the second middle stencils the double layer you know you can see it so like I said it's kind of like a cool ghosting effect you can tell I honestly didn't want to you could do a different tone like black or or whatever color and not do the mood or whatever but I wanted it the whole thing to be moon ring so I didn't want to just only do one part and then another part of different color. I wanted the whole thing to change and so I was really grateful to know that um, those layers because of it you know would be different the other thing I'm gonna attempt and do on my next time doing another piece that I have already thought of is going to be um, putting a like a gel plate underneath like a medium gel or something to raise it to give it some depth to automatically make it pop up um and then I'll be putting this mood spray ring liquid crystal spray over it um just so it gives it a little bit more dimension before I put it um you know off the board just to give, give it a little bit of lift off the board and then I'll resin cure it so that's going to be really neat so keep your eye out for that when I do. So I'm popping the buzzle, the bubbles on my resin here. And as you can see, especially in that far right corner, I mean, it went from like pinks to purples and like all this stuff. Yeah, see how it's hitting? It's just amazing. So the resin, of course, is colder. And so I'm popping all the bubbles out of it. And so then it changes up. And the, that upper left corner, you can tell. Again, depending on the angle you're at, it, it, it changes or the tone like... It's amazing. And you can see the outer part, you know, like both layers of that butterfly, the double stencil. So uh, it's just so neat. So neat. So I'm just like moving the resin around and just covering the entire piece. And just picking out any little hairs or dust or lint that I see with tweezers and then I'm gonna show you it 
a picture right here of right after I did the, put the resin on. And this is a few days after it was cured. I want to show you the start of it was black. That was kind of fast. I'm sorry, but, um, and then this is me heating it up just to show you the effect of the mood ring. It's cold. It's nighttime when I did this. So, and it was cold in the house. So it was like, I just wanted to show you really quick, um, how quickly, you know, just, a, I obviously don't have my heat gun like set very high at all. And I was careful to not have it too high, even just to pop the resin bubbles, just because I didn't want to damage, um, I don't know, just in case if it was too hot or something, I don't know. So, um, but I mean, look at that. <gasps> it's so mind-blowingly cool. Um, so I just want to show you it heated up in one big wave and the missus is helping me record that on one side because it's black and it's resin. So of course it's going to glare like crazy. Um, no matter what you do, it's, you know, it's hard. Um, and then this after just a couple seconds of letting it cool a little bit more. And then even with my gloves on and my hands aren't super hot, but it's warmer, you know, warm enough that even with my gloves on touching, cause of course everybody knows I don't like touching my resin pieces without having gloves on, you know, cause I sell my stuff. So I don't want to fingerprint anything, but I'll lay my fingers on here and you'll see like how it changes my hands. I was like, I just couldn't stop playing with it. <laughs> it was just so fun. Um, but look at that. Just, and the longer, of course, if I held it longer than it'd be like purple, it would go eventually to purple, but isn't that neat? It's just the best. I just had so much fun with this. So, and again, like I said, you don't have to touch it, um, to make it change. Naturally it'll change. So, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Happy art and God bless. Please thumbs up and like and comment and share. Appreciate it.